Hi. Hi, I'm Heidi. Hi, I'm Nell. We're one to one diet consultants. We put a video out every week. And this week, we're going to talk about water flavoring. Tell me what we're going to talk about. I haven't got my props. I haven't got my little. I've got them all. Me. It's all good. You are, you're, you're going to be I'm pop queen. I'm Carol Smiley. That's aged me. <laughs> <laughs> so, water flavorings, what are they? How do they work? And why do they help your hydration? There are there are five of them. Four of them you mix with cold water. One you do not, very importantly. Hey, now. <laughs> yeah, I used to give out samples of that one and did get myself into trouble when somebody thought I was trying to trying to kill them with a, a cold vegetable stock. Um, I thought it was obvious, but apparently not. No, no. But we do always make sure that people get samples and that they do yes. know about them because they make a massive difference. And we're also very aware that it's super easy to roll your eyes at the slight, um, you know, I understand that, that reflex of, oh, she's just trying to upsell. Oh, she's just trying to sell me something. Oh, she's just trying to, you know, add on something. No, not at all. You can, you don't have to use them, but the people that do, I wish I had some proper data on this. Anecdotally, the people that do, not only do they drink more water, but they find more pleasure in drinking the yeah. volume of water that we're asking. And also there's all sorts of magical little extras and tricks that you can do with them. Um, and I think it's the reassurance of knowing that our water flavoring, Heidi, Debbie McGee, hold one up for me. Our water flavorings, um, although they are also sweetener based and they are also, you know, not dissimilar to squashes. These have been tested. These have been tested against our plan. So we know that you can use them completely above board. And I think there's just a sigh of relief. There's a yes. sigh of relief there. Um, I did do the maths, though, on uh, how much they work out. So Heidi's going to run you through some of the benefits of hydration and why using ours are be best. Um, but they make up. So I took Ribena, which is a named everybody's heard of it. But it's also one of the most expensive squashes on the market. Um, and it works out about this. It works out cheaper than that. It works out about the same as your mid range, not super economy, te you know, uh, own supermarket brand, but it works out as like one of the kind of Robinson ones in the middle. So it's not the kind of, you know, you know, Laurent Perrier, Rabina end of things, but it's not the super cheap end either. It sits somewhere in the middle. And although they're deceptive because they're powder, which is not normally how we encounter squashes in the real world, we're used to having them in those sugary syrups that you then dilute with water. Ours are powdered. And so the tub, people don't really know, you know what that equates to so when you hear the price of them they probably do sound quite expensive up front but you are massively stocking up they make between 30 and 40 liters of water so if you only had one of your three liters of water a day in juice in powdered um water flavoring form then they're going to last you a really long time on plan so you know it, and just like squash um because they're a colored powder you can make them up stronger more opaque and you can make them weaker by diluting them further so you know for some of you they might last you know 50 60 liters of water um in which case you know you're not it's not an every week purchase but why why are ours so particularly good Heidi? Well, they're one of the things that I can talk forever about because I love them because they made the biggest difference to my weight loss. Um, one of the reasons being before I lost weight, I drank my body weight in Coke every day. I don't think I drank much else. That was what I drank. And when I switched to the plan, I knew that was something that I wanted to reduce back down. And so I switched out for using our water flavorings and using them with sparkling water. So I still was getting that carbonated hit, but it worked with the plan. And That's you know- a really common myth. If people come to me and they say, oh, I'm not allowed fizzy water, am I? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Absolutely, you are. All counts. And you can make them hot. So the raspberry and elderflower works really well as a kind of substitute for that hot Ribena. If that's something that you kind of enjoy, especially in the cooler weather, this is a really good substitute for that because although it says raspberry and elderflower, and I don't know about you, the elderflower bit always threw me before I tried it. I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to like it. It tastes a bit like blackcurrant squash, to be honest. Yeah, it does. Summer and fruits. the raspberry is one of those slightly less sweet berries. So yeah. it's not super sweet. But I think you're talking to a certain age range there. I don't know whether it was like an 80s, 90s thing. But if Probably. I say like a mug of hot Ribena after school, yeah. there is a certain age of person that goes, oh, yeah, yes. that's great. And they know what My age group. About. And that is the perfect. It's got the same kind of color as well. Yeah, exactly. Nice and strong. Yeah. And like Nell says, they're a powder squash. That always used to worry me. Like, yes. I know that that doesn't sound good because we're used to getting things by other places that are powdered and they kind of sit on, they don't mix. 
These mix almost instantly and they mix properly. You don't have any lumps. You don't have any powder residue. It makes it up like normal squash. So you haven't got to worry about any of that. I think that's why we're doing this video because that we understand why you would be skeptical over yes. them because you, we don't encounter them anywhere else and they are a bit they are a bit weird um yes. you know and even the people who say to me you know oh well it's all right because I can drink I can drink normal you know plain tap water and yeah I, absolutely we're only suggesting that this isn't as well as because there is something in the brain isn't there like um that you were saying like it's almost like a dupe you still had that yeah. carbonated hit those little idiosyncrasies you might not identify when you start on plan because that initial wave of enthusiasm and commitment you know you're just downing bottles and bottles of water or glasses of tap water and you're not really overthinking it that's absolutely fine but at some point we might find that it starts tailing off just because you're bored yeah so somehow making it a, you know putting making it pink you know yeah. it's extraordinary what it can do you know i can sit in my head all day long with a plain glass of water that is transparent and i will just ignore it all day long but you turn that bad boy pink maybe put an ice cube in it put a nice straw in it my little my, you know my little brainstem back here my four-year-old girl oh, that's pretty i'll drink yeah. that. and something people don't realize because they all are slightly different sweetnesses so the pineapple is the sweetest in the range and i would say the raspberry and elderflower is less sweet and the orange of the pink lemonade somewhere in the middle but people always go oh that pineapple is so sweet that's because it works perfectly with an orange and with a raspberry mix all three together and you have the most amazing tropical drink they work really well interchangeably together to make different flavors to mix yeah, it up you've a gone little full bit qvc now but it is I true know. you can it replace is. your your all of your kitchen gadgets with these with this slopper chopper slicer you, nicer, you know it it does it all but it, it is does true. it, it is, is true. true if you have them you can make them into lovely little mocktails you can put them over crushed ice and make a slushy yeah. last week didn't you um and there's also a video on here somewhere if you scroll back a bit that is just me because it was a week that heidi was off doing something more important and glamorous I oh, I think I had COVID. It wasn't. <laughs> I think it was COVID. Um, yeah. So, and and it is me doing exactly that, waxing lyrical. But I actually have everything in front of me, yeah. and I put water in them, and I show you the colours. So, if you want to try before you buy in true online shopping style, go back, find that video, and have a look at that because I do go proper fan girl. Um, yeah. But it's 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 all you know. If it's just like meal replacement, it could all be vanilla shake. If this is just space food, if we are over, -diet, over dieting, over abstaining, if we have gone way too far down that, well, I'm just not allowed anything. I'm going to starve myself thin. It doesn't work. Kind of how many videos we've done on the concept of that doesn't work. You can probably scroll back and find umpteen number of those videos. But this is why we're such fangirls about the water, because we can find your kicks where you can. You know, it is completely normal, natural that we find food and it's it visually interesting as we eat and experience food with all of our senses so you know the the smell the the fizz the clink of the ice cube the using a nice wine glass with the water flavorings it all matters it makes a difference so don't just carry on slogging through all that water because you think there's some extra prize at the other end there there isn't for the sake of some water flavorings you can get more bang for your buck you know, yeah. it's about making it more quenched, quenchable, all of those sorts of things. So make it attractive to yourself in whatever concoction um, you want to make your what, sunset surprise. Yeah, we're making an we're making a no cocktail range. I can feel the marketing meeting happening. Exactly. <laughs> you know, some crushed mint, bit of ice, fizzy water, raspberry water flavoring, berry zinger in a wine glass, summer day, sitting out. Suddenly, this doesn't feel onerous to drink your water and, and get it in. you're not missing the post-work glass of rosé no. in the back garden. You know, as long as there's a clink and a fizz and, a, you know, it, it's all there without all of those extra, you know, without yeah. all the extra calories to be really boring about it. But also without feeling so dependent. A lot of us do feel quite dependent on on that alcohol, on needing that little, you know, moment of... But if you really pick that apart, if you really sort of psychoanalyze that from your armchair... Very little to do with that is to do with the alcohol. Yes. So also, because one thing I used to do, that mid-afternoon can of soda. And I talk to a lot of people where that is a thing, especially if you work corporately, you go to that little vending machine, you get your can of soda, that mid-afternoon pick-me-up. 
orange water flavoring with fizzy water did exactly the same thing for me that mid-afternoon pick me up it had that same feel that same kind of oh this is a bit of a treat i get to have this this afternoon absolutely works the same is, yeah there's more lights than there are that, that on that switchboard that need to be lit up so yeah you know if you're just having your water then absolutely fine but again there's you know it's only going to get the dial moving that far we want the dial going all the way around diggling -ling -ling -ling, you know till till you absolutely love it um not that i'm suggesting you would share with your work colleagues although i do know plenty of star local staff rooms to me that are chock full of those little tubs of water flavoring um but you don't have to be on plan to use it yeah. it is just you know it's just a format we're not used to seeing but everybody can use it it has no extra kind of you know meal replacement properties it's not fortified in any way it is just a, a, an option so you know you can share it with the family you can get your kids off using real um orange juice which is what my bless her grandma got my kids hooked on which i really wasn't thrilled with so we now use very diluted orange squash at home and at the table instead um, and they can have plain water they're just not relying on fruit juices um, and you can also mix them up speaking of kids because I use this as an excuse with my children in summer all the time is to get the silicon molds like the you know the squeeze pop the ice um, lolly ones like ice the little ones. calippo type things that you yeah. make at home yeah all the ones where you stick the you know yeah. from ikea where you stick them you know but you can get little mini ones you can get shaped ones you can get the squeezy ones like the calippo where it all concentrates in the bottom and you get that hit of flavor <laughs> you know but honestly whatever you were craving 10 minutes ago that you desperately needed you've you've, you've you're over it by the time you've had a mini ice lolly made with um water flavoring so yeah you know, that's a really good one for this glorious weather that we're currently having in may Yes. And one water flavouring that does not make up with sparkling cold water is the golden vegetable water flavouring. It's true. As, it makes a terrible ice lolly. Yeah. As Nell alluded to earlier, you mix it with hot water and it makes almost like a veg stock. Lots of people find this really useful, especially if you're on the meal replacement only steps. Yeah. And have kind you been of... on one of those diets where you start buying those Itsu miso soup sachets? Yeah. It's like using one of them, you know, it, especially good for sweet cravings you know, is the afternoon pick me up. It's the not umpteenth cup of coffee. It's that sort of thing. People tend to use it as that free. If you're on soul source, people refer to it as their free soup, their free product. Yeah. But it is, again, it's that wrap your hands around it. And it's very effective for sitting on cravings. It's got that kind of, um, like the Misu thing, it's kind of got that umami thing where you can't quite figure out what you want. And you might in, you know, pre diet in days you might have sort of ricocheted between sweet and savory sweet and savory and neither of them would have really worked that stuff it does yes. exactly that it ticks that box doesn't it yeah and i find this lasts forever because you don't need as much of it as you do kind of these kind of water flavorings you just need a tiny bit in your mug Unless and you, you get a good hit of flavor and use it in all your soups i yes. can't have i love our vegetable with crouton soup but once you've tried it with that and then you go back to trying it without it and it's not as good. It's not as good. Well, so I get a little bit, I get a little bit happy with that stuff. Yeah. Um, and equally, you can use it as a stock. It's I was going to say, I use it on um, step two and step three. I use poach. it to poach chicken. That's I use I it do. in stir fries because I don't want to, if I don't want, if I'm doing like a stir fry on step two and I don't want to add anything, a little bit of this with water just flavors those veggies and put whatever exactly. you're creating on top. And it stops you using a handful of salt. Yeah. 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 So, it, it, you know, you can really use it on, if you're doing like chicken pieces, like for the fajita recipe that's on the blog and stuff like that. It just adds that depth of flavor that, again, stops us from over abstaining and gets the switchboard lights, you know, all all sparked up. So it's it's really good stuff and it can be used on its own as well, but not so much for the mocktails. No, it doesn't work so much for them. And one last thing that I'm going to mention, because it's a winner winner chicken dinner. Um, it is you can use any of these water flavorings mixed with our tubs of mixed mousse which is like a powdered gelatin oh, to make jelly sweets or just tubs of jelly yes. um, which you can have on plan which were really good kind of e sit down at the weekend evening snack got some jelly sweets I've got some pop squares I've got a bar chopped up on Saturday night I mean you're not missing out that's a massive snack board right there whilst they're all munching on popcorn or whatever yeah and I've film. done a video before um it must be over on my Instagram of doing it with agar agar or the vegetarian yeah. version of the because it is a beef gelatin bearing in mind everything in our range even the chicken soups never seen a chicken it's all vegetarian except that it is undeniably beef gelatin but it works and it, very few substitutes for that you can get that kind of Haribo squish you know that mouth feel that you just kind of want 
on on plan because you are you know uh, avoiding other less yeah. helpful choices really aren't you yeah and the the loads of people will buy tubs and tubs and tubs of jelly um and yeah they yeah i don't think they work out cheaper honestly um not once you've done the maths on the on the tubs um but also you don't have all the endless little plastic pots mm. You know, yeah. Or maybe you get some of them, use those jellies, and then you use those plastic tubs to refill them. You know, it takes five to ten minutes to set. So it's almost like you're you can be a bit more you can be more spontaneous. You know, you can, you know, I need something. It's that little palate cleanser that kind of yeah. hits. Um, and it's yeah, it's really clever. And again, because it's the water flavoring and the mix mousse, you can use it for the family. So if you know, if you wanted to have, you know, ice lollies on a Saturday afternoon or you wanted to make some jelly sweets, it's like it's one of those things where, you know, I'll have these, but no, everyone else wants them too. They are they're nice in the real world. Yeah, we will warn you. You can, like, you can make these for yourself. Everyone else is going to yeah, have them. Yeah, I made them for me. You go back to having your, you know, eat mess trifle, whatever it was, your jelly, you know, and I, this is my substitute. No, no, no. They want, they want in on that quite often as well. They're a really under, un, you know, unsung hero of being on plan. And it's really interesting to hear um, that when my clients come to me and say, I couldn't do plan without that one. I couldn't do plan without the, the, the savory one. And you think, but all those people out there who've just poo-pooed them and never yeah. even tried them. But they're the ones that are going out trying trying to find all of this stuff elsewhere and you're like no stay in your lane is something about staying with the one-to-one -one that kind of just you know you know it's been tested against the plan you know you can rest easy of course you can use other you know there are other flavors that some people really love that you can get in the supermarkets um in squash yeah you can do that as well you know we're, we're all we're all inclusive we're just here representing what we have to offer because they do come out with um uh, time limited ones sometimes don't they do you remember the cucumber and mint yeah and like oh, the, pink man, lemonade is the pink lemonade limited. is our summer one this year yeah oh i've got a couple honestly who would you know bite your arm off for that cucumber and we had watermelon at one point and coconut yeah. i remember when we had coconut that was a good one coconut was a good one it was very mar marmite in the sense that yes. people either loved it it was very divisive people either loved it or hated it oh, i used to love it house. to make if a pina colada it. with my vanilla shake i was just saying in one of those silly glasses <laughs> yeah if, a bit of pineapple bit of coconut it worked wonders if you had two liters which is 2.25 is the minimum so two liters and a cup of tea or coffee every day with one of those tubs if you used it absolutely a, a teaspoon makes up a liter as the tub instructions say it would last you 15 days and it's unlikely that you would use it that much you know if you used it a bit for that and a bit for an ice lolly and a bit for it's probably gonna one of them is probably gonna last you a couple of weeks Heidi and I both do a deal on buying two so that we can encourage you to get you know the sweet and the savory or the mocktail or whatever um so I reckon you know if you did that if you bought two of them it probably a month you know on plan <laughs> and then maybe next time you get the other two and you can fill in that until you've got the whole the whole range to kind of play with um yeah i i think they are honestly i think they're a brilliant investment on plan yes and if you come on plan with either me or nell also in your starter pack we both give you samples of the water flavoring oh, yeah, so you can try, try before you buy, buy. So you can see which flavour you like best before you invest in buying a whole If you, if you follow us on social media, you will now be seeing that we never drink plain water. Not never, but like if there's ever a photograph of us drinking, you will see it's always, in my case, it'll always be bright orange. I've yeah. been drinking that stuff for nine years since I first lost my weight. And I will be absolutely, uh, people get must get sick of me, but I will tell you, if I've said this once, I've said it a million times, water is not just on the lower steps. It is not just the weight loss phase. It is the secret to long-term maintenance. If yes. you want to keep your weight off, figure out how you like to drink nearly three liters of water a day and figure that out for good. Don't just do this for, you know, yeah, you might be able to chug it down now. Yeah, you might be able to do it all the time in the weight loss phase. But the moment you start going up through the steps, it's only natural that that water starts to drop. And if you weren't really loving it, and I mean really loving it, you're not going to keep it up and you massively increase your chances of long-term stabilization and maintenance if you can find out how you love to drink that much water all day every single day for the rest of forever yeah exactly if, if a tub of orange flavor is what it takes then you know that's what it takes <laughs> So we hope that has helped explain what these little tubs are if you've never tried them before. Um, if you have any questions about this or the plan or anything else, put them tell in the comments your favorite. below. Yeah, come tell us. And if you want to see favorite. them, scroll back and, and have it. I'll go and put a comment on that video so that you can yeah. see which one I I, mean. I will try and link it in the description. I will try to remember that I said Don't I was going to link like it in the loud. description. Don't make promises. You can't keep. And if you want to see how to make the jelly sweets, a couple of weeks ago, look for the Easter product tax video. There'll be jelly sweets in there and they've got timestamps. So you can just skip to the jelly sweets and you can see how what they look like and how they're made and everything. 
We hope you've enjoyed this video. Please hit the notification bell and subscribe not to miss our future uploads. We put a video out every Tuesday at five o'clock. Have a wonderful week. Everything. Drink your water. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.